you'll be fine. All right, and go. Good afternoon, we're the Aqua Ducks. Our team composes of our team captain, Yelena Pino, George Magana, and of course, your one and only truly, Margaritas. So pretty much. So is... our little guy is called Buddy. His name is Buddy. Our project title is the Ugly Duckling. Alright. So the engineering design loop, correct? Our need to build the rover was to collect trash from our local canals, and then. For the Sea Perch Challenge, it was to collect pieces of trash from the GGHS lake and to reach a barrier and go back to the wall. The research we did was that there's 5.25 trillion pieces of trash in the ocean, and like now-ish, and 1.4 million pounds of trash are enter the ocean yearly. So possible solutions that we could do is like if you're one of those people that walk walk upon the like the lake, you see trash, you could usually go reach for it, pick it up, throw it away. Or like we could get, you know, people to at least come together, you know, at least form a team and then go out picking trash once in a while. But as we know, there's like that's a possible solution. But we know for a fact that there's not people that are willing to like pick up trash and things. So what we can actually do as a um as the actual solution, pretty much, is um, we could start forming teams, volunteering teams, come together, saying who wants to volunteer to help make our society a lot cleaner, you know, lake and oceans and all that, canals. We could also start building um, rovers ourselves, use that single rover to start helping out trash if it's too far away to reach, you know, in one's long distance. So this is one of our, we have three prototypes before reaching to this one. The first prototype looks like. Well, yeah, you guys are welcome to come in front of the table. You don't have to cute, stand behind the table. That little cute picture here. See, it looked like a duck. Okay. But the duck didn't work. The duck was not very good. It couldn't carry anything. It was too slow. It was unbalanced and it was uneven. See, and then the second prototype that was Michael's creation. It was called the Triton. The problem with the Triton was it had speed. But when it came to being able to pick up stuff and being able to move around efficiently, it was lacking. Okay. And the third one? And the third one was pretty much like the original form of how Buddy was going to be. But like we had to change him up because for one, the pros and, one of the pros was he was fast. He was able to pick up things. But the thing was like we had issues with the mortars. Um, it was like not balanced at all and like it wouldn't sink underwater at all. So our redesign, our final design is my cute little sketch, buddy over there. We changed our original design three times to develop him, which is all three, three prototypes combined. It has speed, agility, it was balanced. I could sink, the motors were fixed. It could pick up trash. But we did encounter a problem. During the competition, we did not protect our propellers and the wire got stuck and, well, it was not moving. Okay, so you guys ran into a problem and you fixed it or no? Yes, well, we could fix it. We could fix it by adding, um, what was it? The, a nozzle. A, it was a nozzle, putting a nozzle on it. Like the little, like a duct thingy. Like it's like a conducted uh, propeller and it protects the propeller on the mm -hmm. outer edge. Okay. So that way the when we put it, the nozzle on the on the motors, it won't get tangled up and plus it helps it like move and speed wise. Okay. I see. That's the engineering design loop. Alright. See, 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 see. We went through all the it's even color code. Okay. Look, see? That was the loop, and then we kind of repeated this part right here a lot because we had to reconstruct things and test it. 
and then redesign it. And then we just did our weekly journal of what we did each week. Would you like us to go through that? No, we got some questions for you. Okay. Okay, you guys, go back to your tape. Okay. Well, actually, you know what? Here, let me see the book. We're gonna look through the book. Um, talk to me about <clears throat> what was your overall design objective? To pick up trash from our local canals. Okay. Um, and in that, you you said okay for to pick up trash in the canals, we have to have what as part of our design? No. Well, what were some of the major things that you thought you were going to have to have? Well, to protection. Our first was yes, protection, like making sure like the motor wasn't like easily accessed to get tangled up. Uh, a hook in order to like pick up things, items. A net to pick up the trash so it could be scooped inside there. Our like first this, time like around with the hook. A lot of the objects that we're picking up are like water bottles and uh -huh. with a hook we won't be able to hook on. So we came up with the design of making a net. Like if you're gonna catch fish. Right. A net where we can pick up garbage and it won't float away. Okay. See, because even if it is sort of floated, this prevented it. Because we put like a little thing right here. Because we could have had just the net, but it would have scooped it, but it's the water would have garbage gone. all around. Yeah, I gotcha. All right, so what were some of the challenges that you guys found? I mean, you just explained one of them as you, you had to go from a, a hook, a net to a hook, or I mean, a hook to a net. So, what were some of the other challenges that you guys had? We couldn't find a way to protect the propeller. Okay, so uh, couldn't protect the propeller. What else? It wouldn't sink as fast. Buoyancy? It, would well, it, it wouldn't come oh, up oh, fast. Oh, you kind of lose him. He'd go down really fast, but the moment you sunk him and it, he was like deep underwater, he'd take like a good five minutes to come back up. Um. Bring them over here real quick. I just wonder if the reason it took him so long to come back up was because he was so full of water. I bet you if maybe you guys added a couple more drain holes, that would, that would help the water to flow a little bit better, I think. I think. I mean, we'll have, to, we'll have to, you guys will have to go swim him again to see if that, that matters. So, I mean, that's the, that's the only thing I could think as to why he wouldn't, he would sink well, but not come back up. Okay, so building techniques. Did you guys come up with any cool techniques, ways of, ways of putting him to get back up so the camera could see you? Um, any cool ways that, that you guys came up to, to build things, like a techniques specifically that you guys were like, okay, uh, like one of the other teams mentioned that they used two people to do the sol soldering because it, it just was so tough. Yeah. Did you guys come up with anything? When I was soldering, George was my little sucker. Okay. Because the connections were so tiny, like especially for the, you can't show it, but the, the little like thingy that's black, I don't know if anyone knows it. It's like really tiny and all the, you can't create any bridges, so they're all really tiny and you had to keep sucking it up. That way you had a connection and you wouldn't have to fry the circuit board like a lot of people did. Yeah. Okay. What about design trade-offs where you had to trade off speed for, you know, I, I remember there was a rover before competition that was pretty long and then they decided to shrink it down just a little bit. So maybe they were they were saying we're going to give up size. They're trading off size for speed. Did you guys do anything like yes, that? Yes, we did. This this part right here wasn't um, e like it wasn't like even with the top part. This top part was longer this way, and it made it a little slower. But then when we fixed it, it was fast. Even though it was still a little big than other than the other ones, it was still really fast. Having a bigger rover requires stronger engines, and that's that the resistance that's putting, the water that's putting while it's moving, a bigger object will be slower than a smaller one. 
Okay. Um, what about if you had to do this again, starting from scratch, what, uh, what trade-offs, or I'm sorry, we're not trade-offs. What would you do maybe different with your design? Well, I would say the only problem we had was the motor itself. Everything else went pretty well. I would just say we had, we have to um, protect the motors more. Okay. And make sure that this is yes, really, no. we don't cut it or yep. anything. And that the mo it's connected really well to the motors because the issue we had was that we had one of the motors that it was not connected well to it. So then when we started swimming it, the water kind of like pulled uh, it off. Fried it. Yeah, and we had to redo the motor. Okay. All right. You guys have questions? Do you have references? Oh yeah, do you have references in here? No. Nope. No references? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um so what was the biggest thing individually did you learn from the from the whole project? Whether it's a building technique or Something about engineering. What's your biggest takeaway? Well, personally, my biggest takeaway is like not everything is done like in your first try, pretty much. Like it takes time to redo, like to fix things, improve on it, and then pretty much until you get what you want. That's what I try. I learned I can actually do things. I didn't know I could do this. <laughs> I did the, the remote on my first try, and I've never done it before. Right. And I'm like, okay, I'm pretty good at this. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's the cool thing. That's, that's awesome. For me, it was pretty much being able to come up with time, free time for me to be able to stay here and help out with the team due to all the issues I have with the family and work. It was tough for me to be able to come here and support my team. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. Very good. Any any last common statements you guys have for us? No. All right. Good job. Thank you.